الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر حقنا إله إلا الله محمد عبده ورسوله الله رب هذه دعوت التابع سمعنا وطعنا وفعنك ربنا إلى مصير استغفر إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستغفره ونستعينه ونستهديه ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وخليله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا وحبيبنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وموالاه عباد الله أوصيكم ونفس المقصرة أولا بتقوى الله فاتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون ثم أما بعد all praise are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most gracious and the most merciful. And the best of his peace and blessing shall be bestowed upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and upon those that follow his footsteps. Respected brothers and sisters in Islam, a very important ayah in the Holy Quran that we as Muslims should have gotten used to listening to it from the khatib almost in every khutbah jum'a khutbah an ayah that holds great significance in the life of every Muslim the ayah in surah al-ahzab where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما One of the amazing comprehensive ayat to help you reach al fawz al the great success and when we see when we say great success as muslims we always know that what's meant by it is 
in dunya and akhir. Muslims are set up for success in dunya and akhira. Not just akhira. And we don't just focus on dunya. Our project is bigger than dunya. But it's dunya and akhira success. And if we don't fix our mindset that we need success in dunya and akhira, the equation is not balanced. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing you, Ya ayyuha alladheena aman, O you who have believed. Special message from the Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, Malikul Muluk, Azza wa Jal, special message from Him to the believers. So listen up and focus. Ittaqullah. And we've said several times that ittaqwa and tajala baynaka wa bayna ma takrahu wiqaya is to protect yourself from all harms. Ittaqwa is a practice that you need, ya mu'min, to do every single day, which is to make sure you're protecting yourself from all harms, which is what? Which is risk assessment. Continuously assessing the risks around you, knowing the dangers. We spoke in the previous khutbah about the importance of knowing the dangers. If you don't know them, you can't deal with them. You can't protect yourself. You can't have taqwa against anything harmful if you don't know what the harm is. So continuously being aware of your surroundings, knowing the dangers, knowing the problems, planning to protect yourself from it, and being ready to protect yourself from it. This is the concept of taqwa, my dear brothers and sisters. Ittaqullaha. And what is the method? How do we have taqwa? وَقُولُوا قَوْلًا سَدِيدًا Very important piece in this whole project. قُولُوا قَوْلًا سَدِيدًا القول السديد هو القول الصائب هو الصدق قول السديد is to say the right thing. It's to say the truth. Justice. And what's important about وَقُولُوا قَوْلًا سَدِيدًا You are reacting to تَقُوا الله. You're not saying the right thing because you have to do it or someone asks you to do it. It's because you're reacting to تَقُوا الله, which is the driver of Muslims. Because you want to protect yourself as instructed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are proactively saying the right thing at the right time without anybody asking you to do it. This is al-qawl al sadid It's being proactive about it. Not shying away in the corner, observing the problem, and then saying, I don't want to get involved, but I'm half, I, when, then you, when you're forced to do it, you're saying the truth, that's not qawl sadid Doing it without being asked to do it. Doing it proactively. Doing it for taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Doing it because it's the right thing to do. That's how a mu'min would behave. What would we accomplish? Qulu qawlan sadida. Yuslih lakum a'malakum. Allah will fix your entire affairs, your work, your deeds. We'll forgive your sins if you're proactively practicing Al-Qawl al-Sadeed, Allah will fix your affairs. Another indicator here that you might make mistakes, even if your intentions are right. But the fact that you are proactively trying and proactively working, you're subjected to make mistakes, which is okay, it's fine. And mistakes are an indication of people that are trying and working hard. It doesn't mean that if we're making mistakes, we shouldn't work. No. We try our best, we fix our mistakes, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yajbur at taqseer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make up your shortcomings and forgive you for your sins. As long as you're doing it for taqwa Allah. 
As long as you're moving proactively for taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then he will take care of the rest. And remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said, وَمَن يُطْعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ Because you're doing it, طَاعَ لِلَّهَ وَرَسُولُهُ you're doing it because you're obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So you're doing it for the right reasons. And the result will be, فَقَدْ فَازَ فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا And you shall achieve the great success. The great success in dunya and akhirah, it all hinges on قُولُ قَوْلًا سَدِيدًا Be proactive. Be engaged. Say the right thing proactively, not when you're pulled into it to reach Al Fawz Al Azim. Allahum maj'alna nudrik Al Fawz Al Azim. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfiru Allah li lakum fa astaghfiru fa ya fazam. Astaghfiru Allah. Astaghfiru Allah. Bismillah wa alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. This introduction, my dear brothers and sisters, because we do have a call to action today. Today is the January, today is January 28th. Tomorrow is January 29th, which is the Remembrance Day of the terrible terrorist attack that took place in the Quebec Masjid in 2017, where six of our brothers have lost their lives. This terrible, attack that left widows, orphans, and left one of our brothers permanently disabled. Tomorrow is the first national day of remembrance of the Quebec City mosque attack and action against Islamophobia. The same, the name sounds good. National Remembrance Day, official National Remembrance Day. But what does it mean to us to have a Remembrance Day? To remember that we've lost our, uh, lives, to sit down and pray and make dua, which is very important. We need to make dua for our brothers and the ones that were hurt and the entire Muslim community that was terrified. Maybe we need to financially support those that are left with no supporters and we need to help them out. But the Remembrance Day cannot stop at just remembering. We need actions. Islamophobia has to end. Officials have to get serious about this. We said it before, we no longer accept kind words and tears. We need actions. We have seen examples where other minorities, they got laws passed Immediately, in one reading, unanimously. But then, in Islamophobia, it takes a lot of time. We need actions. And you need to know that actions will not come on their own. You need to know that you will not be gifted your rights. We don't live in the era of Umar ibn Khattab, where he would go out searching for al madloom for the oppressed, and make sure he gives them or their rights. We don't live in that era. We need to demand our rights. We need to stand up and naqul qawlan sadida. We need to stand up and ask for our rights. We need to stand up and speak up and be proactive about it. So I invite you all to Join the NCCM campaign. NCCM, Zam Allah Khair, have been doing a great job in advocating for our rights. And we need to stand up. This is the right time to do it. And join their campaign. First of all, the Green Square campaign to remember the atrocity that took place in Quebec, which is the Green Square resembling the green carpet of the Quebec Masjid. Tomorrow, Make sure you join that campaign to let the entire world know that we have rights to demand and we have justice to establish. And another important campaign is the, on the provincial level, the 
Our London Family Act proposed by NCCM, it was proposed to the Ontario government and the Ontario parliament, and it needs to pass in June. So we need to send messages to our MPs asking them to work harder on Islamophobia and send messages to our MPPs to pass this proposed act. And it has six main points, six main requests. Request number one, introducing changes to our education system to improve the experience of our children through changes in curriculum, improving teacher retaining, uh, to uh, improving teacher training to consider Islamophobia and more to ending hateful, in brackets, example, white supremacist intimidation outside our masajid. Three, increasing the recruitment of minorities in the provincial public service. Four, requiring Ontario's anti-racism directorate to have an anti-Islamophobia strategy. Five, creating Ontario hate crime accountability units. And six, extending the time limits for people to make human rights complaints to up to five years. Very important demands. And this is not the NCCM. These are not the NCCM demands only. These are each and every single one of you's demands. You need to stand up and demand these six points. How? By going to the nccm.ca website and joining the campaign and voicing yourself and saying the right thing and taqulu qawlan sadida and inshallah we will get al fawz al azim all together as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and yahibna al fawz al azim innahu ala kulli shay'in qadir allahumma grant us all the success that we need in dunya and akhirah allahumma we ask you ya allah to protect us and protect our deen and protect our children allahumma we ask you to show us the right path and help us follow it. Allahumma arna al-haqqa haqqa and rizukna attiba'a wa arna al-batila batila wa rizukna istinaba. Allahumma aqsim lana min khashyatika ma tahulu bihi baynana wa bayna ma'asik wa min ta'atika ma tubalighuna bihi jannatak wa min al-iqina ma tahawun bihi alayna masaib al-dunya matta'na Allahumma ba'asma'ana wa absana wa abdanana abda ma ahiyaytana waj'alu al-waritha minna waj'al thaqrana ala man zalamana innaka ala kulli shayin qadir. إن الله ملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين إن الله يأمركم بالعدل الأحسن وإيتاء ذي القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله يذكركم واستغفروه يغفر لكم والله يعلم ما تصنعون وأنت يا أخي أقم الصلاة Straighten your line. Stawu, stawqi, mu'tadilu. Sallu salata mu'tadilu. Allahu Akbar. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. Malik Yawm al Din. Iya Kana Budu wa Iya Kana Stain. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم 
ومن يطع الله الرسول فقد فاز فوزا عظيما الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حميدا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الطالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا الله أكبر